computer science is um, a discipline that is undergoing a great deal of change. And this requires that as computer science educators that we come up with new ways to uh, teach the new generation of students. ALICE is a system to try to get people's first exposure to learning how to program a computer to be a pleasant one. We have got a system where students can make small 3D animated movies and or 3D video games and they do that by dragging words in a system where they cannot make a mistake. I came to CMU right at the point where we were starting work on ALICE 2 um, and one of the major goals for that was sort of the drag and drop interface and to kind of get the technical hurdles that people have with programming out of the way. So between that and the fact that you can see what's going on and you actually want to do it in the first place, then we, uh, we found that Alice was really intriguing to a lot of people. We saw that the majority of children, the majority of adults, are visual learners. And Alice teaches visually, and so you get a chance to watch what your program actually does in a way that no other tool does. The work that Alice has done in bringing these sort of more entertainment-oriented activities into schools has been proven through their research to be very effective at reaching women and other underrepresented groups, showing them that computer science isn't just people sitting in cubicles writing code all day, but people being creative, using the very powerful capabilities of computers to provide even more powerful and compelling results. We really believe that Alice is one of the few silver bullets we've seen that might be able to turn around the massive decline in CS majors nationwide. This is a tool that's really going to grab kids' attention and, and properly used can, can really help them understand some, some very key ideas in, in a way that is um, intuitive and engaging and uh, motivating. They are able to create things, create worlds, tell their own stories on the computer quickly and easily without spending a lot of time mastering very cumbersome, clumsy, intricate technical software. They really enjoy the storytelling side of Alice. Students learn perseverance. They get very excited about Alice. They're willing to work through it. And when they then get into Java and some of their mid-level classes, they tend to be willing to work harder. What it builds is tremendous problem-solving sense, and it helps tremendously with the student's programming ability. What we're trying to do with programming is allow people to figure out how to get machines that they have do the work that they need them to do, and allow people to do the things that they're best at, which is creatively solving problems. I've always had the most uh, utmost respect for Carnegie Mellon. They've always done some innovative things there over the years, and uh, I think this is the most innovative of all. We take on the real problems here, and we take great pride in doing real things and things that matter. And of course, the great thing about Carnegie Mellon is we come to work every day and say that. Let's not do it the way we've always done it. Let's not do it the way everybody else always does it.